Now, before we show you that video, listen to their call for help. There's like an eight-foot person beside it, and another one's inside, and it has big eyes and looking at us, and it's still there. Okay, where is this on your property? Uh, uh, in my backyard. I swear to God, this is not a joke. This is actually we so just terrified it. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard. Correct, and they're very large. They're okay. like eight foot, nine feet, ten foot. I don't know. They're, they look like they look like aliens to us. Big eyes. They have big eyes. Okay. Like like I can't explain it. And big mouth. They're shiny eyes and and they're not human. They're hundred percent. They're not human. All right, now take a look at this Las Vegas police body cam footage from last month. The video shows a green flash across the sky. There it is. And that came just after a family made a 911 call. Just before midnight on April 30th, sky watchers across several western states saw a bright fireball streak through the heavens. A police officer working in the Northwest Valley caught a glimpse of the colorful object on his body cam. At nearly the same time, a ring camera in the area recorded a strange noise and what sounds like a crash. Because I'm not going to BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too, so that's yeah. why I'm kind of curious. Did you see anything land in your backyard? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it a UFO? We can't figure it out. A viewer reaching out saw these large bright lights in the skies over the strip in downtown. He says they're bigger than the helicopters we see circling uh, many, many times. And we just heard back from Nellis. They say not involved in this. So if you think you know what these are, you've seen these, you can reach out. Let us know right on our website, adusnow.com. Top story there. And is it all connected? Leave her alone. It's almost midnight on May 1st when a Las Vegas Metro Police officer's body cam catches this. On April 30th, people in California, Nevada, and Utah reported seeing a green flash streaking across the sky. As that officer mentioned, one of his partners even said they saw it. Something flashing low in the sky. 911 emergency. Minutes later. There's, a, there's like an eight foot person beside it and another one's inside and it has big eyes and looking at us and it's still there. Someone calls 911 reporting two large figures in their uh, backyard. No, I'm so nervous right now. The 8 News Now investigators obtaining another officer's video as he sent to the Northwest Valley home. I have butterflies, bro. This family called 911 saying they, there were 10 foot tall beings with big eyes in their yard. Police aren't saying any more about this, only that the department has closed the case, calling it unfounded. This all comes as uh, a former high-level intelligence officer, an air a veteran, was on News Nation talking about how there is a program where the government collects some unidentified objects. So this might be that. The family says they also saw men in suits and sunglasses driving in a car with government plates cruising slowly past the house in the following days. Nellis and Creech have denied any interest or involvement with the incident. Metro has indicated they believe the family that something crashed in their yard. But what? Mystery in the sky. Do you see the five dots there on your screen? Rare footage of unexplained objects hovering over an active U.S. military base in 29 Palms. According to witnesses, those lights floated in the air for about 10 minutes. This is 29 Palms at the military base. These were a bunch of Marines who saw this. And boy, when I saw it, this was actually from two years ago. When I saw it, what I saw was repeat of Phoenix lights. That's, that's right. That's what I thought, too. And I saw, you know, initially I thought these were flares. And then during my investigation where I'm trying to get as much footage and as much images. That image you're seeing that has a kind of blue sky, you can see the shape of what the, the witnesses say they saw, a big triangle-shaped craft. That's we're showing some pictures right now. This is, this is different than the video we just showed? Absolutely. It's the same object, though. And that's why it's neat. We're able to see the shape of it. This was not a flare drop, Jeremy. So what you're seeing on the screen right now are called illumination flares, and those were shot up over the object you're seeing on the screen now, okay. or, which, is, which is a triangle formation. Now, the internet, a number of people on the internet have, have a really solid case that they believe that these are flares. Where I'm stuck is we have all the eyewitness testimony where the Marines feel that they saw a craft. I want to show, let me show quickly the Phoenix Lights video so people can compare and contrast. Uh, our governor at the time, Five Symington, he saw the object. There it is. And he said, and he was a Navy pilot, okay? He said, this is otherworldly. I've never seen anything like it. 
It was a craft. End of story. He absolutely, he, to this day, he says, it was a craft. This was not a flare drop. And then we come to find out there were probably two separate events on that night. There was a flare drop and a sighting of what some described as a craft. You got it. So check it out. Some of what you showed there, it's haunting. I'm getting goosebumps because you've got the same situation where you have these, these you know, trained observers saying we saw a craft. And then you have those kind of lights that are a little bit out of the, the orientation you'd expect yes. to be on a solid craft. And, and you see that, too, with their footage. So it makes you wonder. It's like, what was going on? bombshell claim about UFOs. A former U.S. intelligence official, an Air Force veteran, claims a top secret program is withholding evidence of alien spacecrafts. Certainly interesting. The military whistleblower has now handed over classified informa information to Congress. You know, anyone who listens to the Joe Rogan podcast knows that Bob Lazor, for years now, has been saying the exact same thing. His story was incredible about working in a subset of Area 51 and essentially decades ago, yes, being tasked by the U.S. government of reverse engineering a UFO that was hanging out in their hangar. In fact, they had multiple objects of non-human origin that Americans were tasked with. Hey, figure this out. Try to recreate this. And that is exactly what is being said now by this whistleblower also. It's more than an hour after that bright light. Officers meeting up with the caller and his family. What did you see? It was like a, it was like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like a long tessy top. I'm not going to BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too, so that's yes. why I'm kind of curious. Did you see anything land in your backyard? Or they see like a big. That's what they say. They see like a big, uh, like a big something with light. What I saw right now, I do believe in it. Okay. Police walk into the backyard to investigate, but Metro blacked out that part of the video because it's considered private property. What's clear? They're taking this call seriously. Hey, this might sound like a really dumb question, but did you guys see anything fall out of the sky? Asking others what they yes. saw. Uh, I would normally discount it as nothing. However, um, seeing as one of my partners said they saw it too, only reason I'm actually investigating it further. Now, Metro police in uh, Vegas are not releasing the video of what was actually in the backyard. And these people's phones have been confiscated. There is no video. Something happened in Vegas, Lee Thomas. This happened in Las Vegas on April 30th. Why are we just learning about it now to begin? One family living in a ranch-style home had a much closer view of the object. Two brothers and their father were working on a vehicle in their yard when they caught a glimpse of a sparkly object as it came crashing down, then were hit by what they describe as a shockwave. Especially because Grush has alleged that the government has withheld evidence from them. I don't have the answers at the moment. And uh, when I do get the answers, I'll be honest, but I can't tell you because it'll still be classified. So, uh, But I, we will definitely be looking for those answers. And either way, the White House doesn't want to talk about it. I would refer that question to the Department of Defense and let them answer that question for you.